Now, the Princess of Wales's family have reportedly read the Riot Act to Kate's uncle, Gary Goldsmith, who is set to appear on the new series of Celebrity Big Brother, which launches tonight. The outspoken businessman, brother to Kate's mother, Carol Middleton, has infuriated the family, who are already grappling with social media speculation surrounding Princess Kate's whereabouts as she continues to recover from abdominal surgery. Well, joining us now is royal commentator Michael Cole. Oh, it never rains, but it pours, doesn't it, for the royal family? I mean, this can't, can't really be the most settling news to listen uh, to hear during her recuperation, that her mother, wayward uncle, is uh, going to be earning a bob or two. I would imagine the ITV are hoping for spilling some secrets. Yeah, good afternoon, Alex. Uh, good afternoon, Kevin. Yeah, uh, snap opinion polls show that t nearly two-thirds of the people think it's a bad idea for bad Uncle Gary to go into the celebrity Big Brother house. So obviously the Middleton family have been furiously dialing all day uh, to get the figures on the right side of the equation. And here we see uh, Uncle Gary, and I think that was when he went into court uh, for assaulting uh, his fourth wife. Uh, for that, he got a fine of £5,000 and a community order. And of course, he is uh, what they call a colorful character. <laughs> Why has he been invited onto the Big Brother set? Well, because, and only one reason, he is the uncle. Uh, his niece is going to be, in all likelihood, the next uh, Queen of England. And why, have they, why do they want him? Not for his scintillating personality, but because he's likely to spill the beans, as you say, say a few indiscreet things about life inside the royal family. And it has to be said, Kevin and Alex, that he has form. In the past, he said some very disobliging things about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, presumably thinking that he's aiding the case of his niece, the Princess of Wales. Uh, but quite frankly, uh, the Middletons, and I'm sure the royal family as such, uh, are not welcoming this addition because he's an unexploded bomb. They don't know what's coming next. And people do say very, very stupid things when they're in front of the television camera. We three try to avoid that happening. Yeah, well, uh, with varying <laughs> degrees of success. Uh, with me, in my case, not very good degrees of success. Uh, but to be serious for a second, Gary Goldsmith, as you said, Michael, he's got a conviction for punching his wife. Uh, he has been widely reported to stage all these drug parties. Uh, his wife said that when she pun he punched her, he was on drugs. Uh, so, he, you know, he's a... As you said, to put it generously, he's a colourful character, he's a different character. Uh, my question to you, uh, you worked in the TV industry, I have, I've written extensively about it, so, so I suppose I'm not awfully surprised, but, you know, is it right that uh, ITV are cashing in on this guy when poor Kate is trying to recover from serious abdominal surgery? Would not ITV have been better advised uh, to just not go down this route? It's all a bit tawdry and uncomfortable, don't you think? Yeah, Kevin, I, I, those are counsels of perfection, and I have to say I, I thoroughly agree with you. It is quite true that he was involved in drug drugs parties on Ibiza, where he lived for some time, but it's also true uh, that the Prince of Wales and the Princess of Wales, before the birth of Prince George, did actually go out there and have, have holidays with him. So he he is something in the family that, that he's there, he's permanent, they can't get rid of him. On occasions when uh, he's uh, allowed to come into the royal circle, like a wedding, he's sort of hidden behind a local pillar and so on. Uh, it is unfortunate, particularly at this time, because I think the uh, the focus should be on good wishes which we collectively send to the Princess of Wales in her recovery, which we are, understand is going well, uh, and so should it. Uh, it's not helpful, uh, but you see what happens. Uh, let me just give you a little bit of personal experience. 25 years ago, a long time ago, a quarter of a century, I was asked to go on a Celebrity Big Brother. Well, in those days, uh, I think I was at the bottom of the pecking order, but they offered me £40,000. Uh, it's a lot of money involved. And that, with inflation, it's reported that Sharon Osborne, who is one of the people who are also going into the Celebrity Big, uh, big Brother house, uh, are getting £100,000 a day. Well, if you're in there for three weeks, I can't quite do the, the maths, but it's something like £3 million, isn't it? <laughs> something like that. 
Um, and uh, uh, money is at stake. Maybe he needs the money, but it is the sort of headache uh, that Carol Middleton, mother of Kate, certainly doesn't need. And I'm quite sure she's uh, holding her breath, putting her tin hat on and hoping nothing comes out of it. But even experienced people who've been in the Big Brother house, and I think Jenny Bond, who succeeded me as BBC World Correspondent, she said she found herself saying things that she didn't realise she was saying, uh, <laughs> forgetting that the cameras were always there. I think that's the idea, that's Michael. Point, that's yeah. the idea. If, honestly, if people could see what we talk about during our advert breaks, yeah. off, Ofcom would shut us down. <laughs>